I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor at Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and we're reading again from Proverbs chapter 8, and we begin in verse 14, where the Bible says, Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. By me, kings reign and princes decree justice. By me, princes rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. And verses 14 to 16 teach us an important principle about a sovereign God who says he has the rulers of the earth under his control and they will do whatever he allows them or or leads them to do. Look at or listen to a verse in the book of Proverbs on this subject in Proverbs chapter 21 verse 1 the Bible says the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers of water he turneth it whithersoever he will. In 1 Timothy chapter 2, there's a command in the scriptures for people to pray, for God's people to pray for all those who are in authority. And when we read about the fact that wisdom allows kings to rule and decree justice and the Lord is able to control them by his hand, it gives us a lot of confidence. You know what? We don't have to really dread or be fearful of what human rulers or Uh, presidents or people like that will do because they will do no more than what the Lord allows them to do and they will do no less. The Bible says the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord and he will turn it as a river of water. Wisdom says by me kings rule and princes decree justice and it seems like some of their decrees are not very just and a lot of things that modern day leaders and rulers are doing is not very close to even being scriptural and is in direct violation of much that the word of God teaches, but that does not diminish at all God's ability to control them and cause them even against their own will to put themselves in situations where they are doing just what God wants them to do regardless Don't be afraid, don't be fearful of what the times may bring because we need to just cleave to and focus on God's wisdom and he has it all under control. Trust the Lord and resort to his wisdom and his guidance in your own personal decision making, in your own personal lives and leave those other things in God's hands. He is well able to steer and guide the nations as he chooses. And so trust the Lord today and seek his wisdom and ask God to give you a little sliver of his divine wisdom so that you can make the right kinds of decisions as they regard your life and be focused on the Lord and allow him to use you for his honor and glory in reaching others with the truth of the gospel and with the wisdom of God. God bless you today.